everyone, and welcome to another episode of Brett's Brain. Today, we're going to talk about valuation. What does that even mean? And how do you get one? If you're an entrepreneur, you've inevitably heard the term, what's your valuation at some point in your career? What are people talking about? S simply put, valuation is what is your company worth at this moment in time? That's it. Why does it matter? Well, it matters a lot if you ever go out to raise capital or you're selling your company. If I'm an investor investing $100,000, I am going to ask you, what's the valuation of your company so I know how much I own? It's an important thing. So how do you set it? Early stage companies, it's really difficult. We don't have multiples. We don't have earnings sometimes. We don't have profit. We can't value ourselves like you would a publicly traded company. We just don't have those metrics of the time and market. And oftentimes, the valuation that gets set for an early stage company isn't actually the value that you could sell the company for, which sounds crazy. It's largely a market driven number. It's the value that investors might be willing to pay to invest in your company. And they're doing it based on more than just what your revenue is. They're doing it based on the team and the time you've put in the potential opportunity. They're doing it in based on who else might be investing. How scarce of a resource is this investment? Is there enough room? Is there a lot of interest? It's market dynamics, supply, demand. Is there a lot of supply of the equity of your company and very little demand? If so, the valuation is going to drop down. There's a lot of things that come into play when setting a valuation of your company. Now, a common mistake a lot of founders make is they set their valuation arbitrarily before they go to market and try and fundraise. Don't do that. Have some conversations. Understand. You don't understand where other companies similar to yours are raising capital at. Don't set a valuation and then go pitch it. You don't actually have a valuation of your company set until you get somebody to agree to either invest it in that in it at that value or acquire your company at that value. Those are the only times you really actually have a value set of a company. So be careful. Don't shoot yourself self in the foot. And hopefully this helps under, helps you understand a little bit better what valuation is and how you can get one set. 